Hi viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're talking fireplaces. So uh, the fireplace got installed, uh, not by me. Uh, so I figured I'd do a quick video just to show you that part of construction. Um, I honestly don't know a whole lot about this area, which is obviously why I had someone else do this. Um, we went with a wood burning fireplace. I believe it's 42 inches wide. I think it was a pretty standard width. Um, and there's not a lot to it. Um, got a firebox. Uh, these are pretty cool in that they say you only need a three quarter inch air gap around all this, uh, all the sheet metal to maintain, you know, I guess make sure things don't burn down or anything like that. So that's a pretty tight, uh, pretty, I guess, tight gap to me. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool that you can pack them in that tight and be perfectly safe. Uh, we went with a wood burning fireplace, like I said, um, it's nothing fancy. It's a big metal box with a, uh, you know, there's obviously the chimney going all the way up, or what's it called, the flue, the chimney, I don't know what the term is. Where the smoke goes, goes all the way up top there, as you can see. Uh, that little four inch flex line is to bring fresh air into the fireplace to help with combustion. Uh, that is currently not routed anywhere. We're gonna, uh, Builder and I are gonna figure out exactly where we wanna route that, since we're gonna have to cut a hole in the house to bring in fresh air. We're going to try to route it to a soffit so that we don't have to go through the roof and, and you know, let them make another roof penetration since we're spray foaming. Um, this particular fireplace looks like it had a provision there for a gas pipe, gas knockout, if I wanted to put a burner in there. Uh, if I were running natural gas, I could do that, um, but I'm going to be running propane. And one thing I learned, because we originally planned on putting just a, a gas starter in there, is at least the propane company in my area that's gonna serve you know, our propane, they said that that is a no-no. Um, those types of burners for fireplaces for propane are not allowed. They are for natural gas, but not for propane. Something to do with propane being, I think, a denser gas, that it's just more inherently dangerous if the flame goes out, that gas will, and you're just spewing gas into the house, that it won't dissipate as much, and so it's more, I guess, of a fire hazard. So that was something I didn't know. So if you're uh, doing propane like I am, you might check with your propane company or your local codes or whatever to make sure that if you want to do a gas starter like I did, you know, wood-burning gas starter fireplace, you can actually do that. On the plus side, that did save me from running a lot of extra black pipe to, uh, to feed this thing. Um, this fireplace also has a... Uh, my mind went blank. Oh, I think it's got a, uh, a blower motor of sorts to circulate um, the heat and the air into the room. Uh, I honestly haven't cracked into that yet. I'm going to have to wire the thing, uh, but I haven't looked at that in detail, so that's something I'll be needing to do. Um, that's really about it. I, this is not a long video, but I at least wanted to show you what the rough end of this thing kind of looked like. You can see how they ran the pipe and all the way up to the chimney and whatnot, so... That's all I got. Hopefully it was uh, useful. Not a lot of information, but uh, kind of neat to see what it looks like uh, before the walls go in. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.